Hi, this is Russell Stanar from teachertrainingvideos.com. This is a really quick video. I'm going to show you how Google Voice Texting works. It really can save you a lot of time. You speak into the microphone and the typing is done for you. Let's sit back and watch it and just see how easy it is to do. Okay, so let's look at the voice to text in action and then I'll give you a few really useful tips. So if I just click on my Google app, so of course you do need to have Google Drive and you have Google Drive as long as you are signed up to uh, have a Gmail account. I'm simply going to click on new and Google Doc and then simply click and add a blank page. Now obviously a good idea to give your document a title, so I'm going to call this test video click onto the screen and the button that you want is tools come down here and click on voice typing now you need to simply click on the button here and start so let's just quickly do a demonstration then i'm going to talk about how you for example add a full stop how you start a new paragraph etc so just testing out this voice activation technology that allows me to speak and for that to be typed onto the screen Okay, and you can see actually it's very, very good. Now, incredibly, Google's getting more and more effective with the way that it actually uh, punctuates the text as well. So we can tell it things like new paragraph, full stop. Uh, you can even start formatting with colors now. So let's experiment with a few of those, and then I'll show you where to get more information on this. So let's turn it back on again. My name is Russell Stannard, period. I live in London, period. I used to work at the University of Westminster and at the University of Warwick, but now I'm a freelance teacher trainer. Period. My specialization area is educational technology. Period. New paragraph. I lived in Spain for a total of about 11 years. Then in 1999, I decided to return to the UK. Period. So you can see that you can do some really, oh, so let me turn it off. <laughs> you can see that you can do some simple punctuation. Now, how can you find out more about that? We'll go up to the help section, click on help docs, and just write, um, I think it's called voice text in voice typing. And if you click, uh, in fact, click on this here, on the first article, type with your voice, and then come down, you should see add punctuation. And there's actually loads that you can do. Uh, period, comma, exclamation mark, question mark, new line, new paragraph. Um, and even, say, for example, how to select ta text, how to format it. Now, I've never used any of these formatting ones, so let's give it a try and just see what happens. Text color red. So now I'm going to, oh no, I've got to turn it on, sorry. Let's move down to a new line. Text color red. So now when I write, hopefully it's going to come out in red. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. Just turn it off, otherwise it will start typing what I'm doing. You really need to investigate that more, but you can see the possibilities. It really can save you a lot of time. And over a period of time, I've been using it more and more. Now, one piece of advice, I have got a fairly good headphone and microphone for doing this. When I did my early tests, it wasn't working so well when I just had a basic microphone. So a USB microphone, maybe you spend 20, 25 pounds, but it does seem to work. Give your microphone a try though, because you never know. Uh, particularly, um, I've, I've in the past had you know very cheap microphones and they've worked fairly well, but the one that I've got now works really well. I really hope that helps. It's a great tool, got lots of possibilities. And another thing to keep in mind, it's not just in English. It actually works in lots of other languages. And again, if you go to the help section, go to voice help and put in uh, voice texting, you'll see that you could uh, start to use this for language practice as well. Um, it recognizes lots of other languages, and I haven't done some experiments with that, but that's certainly one thing I'll be thinking about doing in the future. I really hope you found that video useful. Please come to teachertrainingvideos.com if you want more free videos. There's a newsletter that you can sign up to with about 25,000 subscribers to find out about the latest videos that I have created and any short courses and special offers. But if you're not interested, just close that window down. And one section you might be particularly interested in is the t section on Google tools. And uh, you might find that particularly useful. But also Russell's five minute blog where I just have really short videos about key technologies that we can use in our teaching and learning. Whenever you click on a video, just simply choose the section you're interested, 
click and the video will open up onto the screen and of course don't forget to watch this video full screen it's a much better experience very final thing just to mention I do have a YouTube channel and there are additional videos on the YouTube channel that you won't find within teachertrainingvideos.com I uh, hope you find the website useful thank you very much